YouTube, it's Herpster Pier, and I'm going to welcome you to another episode of Spy Vaults. Today we're going to do the Grenier Spy Vault. I'm going to call this one the, uh, I think it's, I'm going to call it the two if I'm not mistaken. Because, the yep, there the it is. You look straight in the main door. You can, well, you have to stop before you can even go into this room because there are two sensor regulators that will be in the room. They're usually pretty high level. And they will be up looking at you if you go into the room. So right now, I'm going to show you how you can juke these things. They don't look back. Once they hit the... Once they go into this room, they just look, keep looking forward. So you can pop up here. Obviously, you could also kill the regulator and then kill the sensor bar and go through that door down there. But I think it's actually easier to go over the top, usually. Especially because, you know, I always know if your weapon's going to deal enough damage to one-shot them. Because if it doesn't, then you're in trouble. See, so so yeah, like I said, you can go up, once the regulators are looking towards the back of the vault, you can hop up here. And this is just Tickle Loshi setting us, so uh, it's nice, not too high level. So normally there will be even more laser grenades to go through, but today there's just this one. Uh, sometimes there will be one behind, sometimes there will be one that goes horizontally across that little gap right there. Uh, any anyway, rate, so we're going to juke across the laser grenades here. And I'm gonna pretend there's one of those horizontal ones. And there we go, we go across. And now, there's a button here. Don't press this button. <laughs> that button's actually useful. If you leave if you leave that if you don't if you press that button it actually raises an elevator that you can use that if you leave it down you can uh, use it to get out later. So it's not really a necessary button. Alright, so as you see here there's another little grating going. So we have to wait for this one to get out of the way. Uh, it is definitely easiest to go through underneath on this particular vault. So, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, it's practically the only way to get through it. Now, if you ra if you do raise the elevator, then you can get out again on the other side and go through the vault through a front door, but I like to just go all the way underneath because you might as well. You're going one underneath one way or the other. So anyway, uh, you on the very high-level missions, sometimes there are multiple bars here. Uh, all I have to do is judge whether each one you have to slide under or hop over. This one is a slide under. So, whoop! There we go. There's that elevator. I have an Xmas on me, so that must mean that there's an Xmas unit walking around. And I do see on my map there are three units in here. Uh, there were three units a second ago. All right now, I only. There they are. Two of those are the, th are the regulators, and one of them, the one that's showing up at the same level, is going to be that Arson Xmas guard. So, I'm going to let him walk by. Uh, there we go. And I hop out right behind him. And, oh, he saw me. Shoot. Okay. Well, I'm not doing a good job of demonstrating stealth kills for you guys, but it doesn't really matter. I can just hack and slash away. It works. There we go. And that's a clean hack. And like I said, if you go right here, you can then take this elevator straight up, and it will get you out of the level. Alright, well, that's all I have for the two sensor vault, so peace out YouTube. That'll be, that's enough for another Herp the Derp episode of Spy Vaults.